We're here today for a video presentation of the property known as Saxavord. It's a superb extended detached bungalow located on Humberston Road, Tetney. Just step here into the front garden, you'll see plenty of hard standing for additional vehicles. The property's been enlarged from the original. The driveway leads down the side to the garage, which we'll see in a moment. But it's a very impressive property presented beautifully throughout and sure to appeal to a discerning purchaser wanting a large single story home in when a very popular village. Just turn here, let you see the front garden again. Trees out there on the outer verge and we'll step now into the central reception hall. This room or this area has certainly benefited from the enlargement work done to the property and it is almost large enough to feel as if it's a room in itself. Space for pieces of furniture and corridor there leads down to the bedroom end of the property. But first head into the front lounge. Nice square shaped room here. There's a contemporary wood burning stove there set within the brick lined recess. Little side window there adds a bit of extra natural light. A really pleasant room. Turn to my right off the hallway we have a living kitchen spacious enough for a dining table for all the normal kitchen preparation needs of course. Nice range of mahogany finish units and as I turn there you'll see space for a two-seater sofa as well. So this room can actually provide space to prepare, to dine, to relax uh, and beyond there as you'll see in a moment there's also a sunroom uh, conservatory. The boiler is away in the cupboard ahead of me there. That was renewed in October 23 so it's a very recent installation and we've got built-in oven hob extractor, fridge freezer, um, dishwasher, etc. in here. And I'll just step to this lovely room. Nice spot to enjoy the garden. The garden extends to approaching a third of an acre in total. Uh, so it really is an enthusiast's delight out there. And this is a room that very much gives you the chance to enjoy it. There is a central heating radiator in here and the roof has been lined and insulated to enable the room to be used all year round. We head back to that lovely, impressive hallway. Turn to our right here, to the family bathroom. Nice contemporary style to many elements of this property. You'll see concealed system toilet, semi-recessed wash basin, cabinet units and the bath there above which you'll see the chrome mixer shower unit. Nice gray tiling in here and a good bit of space even can accommodate a little chair there against the heated towel warmer. So good space to move around. This room here is in a sense a bedroom but the current owners put it to use for other purposes. There are some pine wardrobes um, it's used more of a sort of study hobby space, but it's certainly of a size um, to be a great bedroom, uh, either a good size single or possibly even a double, uh, if you were to make some slight adjustments maybe with the furniture position. The end of the corridor, we have another lovely double bedroom. Views out to the rear garden from here. And then the largest of the bedrooms, the master bedroom. This is an area of the property that was enlarged and gives you a superb double master bedroom. Wardrobes built in, you get a view out to the front just here. And then a door opening to the ensuite shower room. White suite in here, we've got the concealed system toilet, the wash basin, and a good size step in shower enclosure with a fixed um, spray head at the top and then the spray head on a flexible hose also. So it's a twin head shower arrangement, another chrome heated towel warmer, and there's actually a seat in there uh, 
wanted to make it all a little bit more convenient and easy to use. So a great ensuite shower room leading off the master bedroom. Walk back through the hallway. Now it's one of it's a layout that a lot of people do like with their bungalows where all the sleeping spaces at one end and the daytime spaces at the other uh, rather than that uh, more of a mixed arrangement. And uh, this is a, a very favored layout. And we'll just head outside. It could be a little bit blowy on the microphone on a uh, slightly windy day like today, but hopefully you'll get a real good impression of what the gardens have got to offer. Just before we step out there, there is a double garage electric door uh, on the rear of the garage. There's a workshop also. Uh, so it's great for hobbies or general storage. Within the garden, there's a greenhouse. There's a large shed. Um, plenty of established shrubs, uh, block paved sitting areas. Uh, let's go and show you what it's all about. So we just step out here to the area at the end of the driveway. There you'll see the garage. Turn here, space for sitting out, enjoying the sunshine. And as I walk down the garden, you'll see a good distance from any other properties at the rear. Nice established shrubs in island beds and borders. Fruit trees are also just here. Let's turn and let you enjoy the view across that lovely garden. So all in all, an excellent detached point of view. It's highly recommended. It can be arranged through modern milestones and rooms be readable on Treble Zero. Please contact us and we'll get you around here. Thank you.